Hello everyone, let's look at the new start menu for Windows 11. So the new layout for the start menu is now available as part of the November 2025 patch Tuesday update, which is scheduled for November 11, 2025. However, at the time of this recording, a preview of the next update is already available as an optional update through the Windows update settings. If after installing the update, you don't get the menu, check the link in the video description that I have a tutorial on how to enable the new layout on Windows 11. So this is the new layout for the start menu. And one thing that you will notice right away is that it retains pretty much the same design as the previous version. However, it is a lot larger and it combines the all menu with the pin section. So now everything is in one interface. And now the menu is divided in three sections, including pin, recommended, and all. At the top where you have your pins, by default, when the section is collapsed, you will see two rows of icons and you can fit up to eight icons. You can pin as many apps as you want. However, you will have to click the show all button in order to see the other rows. And the menu will actually retain this option. So the next time that you open the menu, you will see the other rows. It is important to know that with this new design, all the legacy features are still available. So for example, if I want to create a folder, you can still do that and you can rename it and you can launch your applications from here. The start menu will continue to show recommendations by default and you will see up to two rows of recommendations that can hold up to six items. Now at the bottom, we have the all section and the system will automatically group your applications depending on the category. However, you can change the view to grid and the legacy list. Now, these groups are created automatically. Now, if the system cannot categorize a specific application, it will then group them into the other folder. If you click an icon instead of a group, you will actually be opening that application instead of the group. If you want to open the group, you can click the subgroup if available, or you can click the name of that group. However, one thing to note is that you cannot rename a specific group. Now, we still have the Windows search box at the top. And when you click on that, it will switch to the search experience on Windows 11. However, you will notice that this experience is still a work in progress because the Windows search home is not the same size as the new start menu. Now, as a result of the new menu, if we go to the settings app and then if we go to the start page, we are also going to notice that Microsoft has reorganized and changed a little bit the settings that we can access for the start menu. And one thing that you will notice right away is that we no longer have the option to change the layout for the start menu. And now the page is divided into three different sections, including recommended, all, and other. And one important change starting with this new layout is that now it is possible to disable the recommended section from the start menu. And the way that we do this is by turning off all the recommended settings. So after turning off all those options, if we open the start menu, you're going to see that we no longer have the recommended section. Now, if you have a mobile device connected to Windows 11, if you turn on the mobile sidebar, what you're going to find is that at the top right next to the Windows search box, now we get an option that makes it easier to show or hide that sidebar. And that's it. That was a closer look at the new start menu for Windows 11 and all the new options that you will be able to customize with the new layout. And we also seen the steps to disable the recommended section. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that before the company decided in the new layout, it also tried different designs. So we have this one right here that included some sort of a widgets or like tiles on the left with your pins on the right. Now, on this design, you can see that it follows kind of the same design as the first prototype, but it has more rounded corners and a vertical stack of different sections. And then there was also this design that looked more like an application. It actually reminds me to the Microsoft Store app where you have the left rail and you can switch between the different tabs. And from there you can access your applications. In this particular layout, we also have a shortcuts section to access your phone and your resident apps. And Microsoft also tried a design similar to the one on Windows 10 that included a list of apps on the left with your pins on the right. And there was even a full screen layout with different sections to access your applications. And that's it. Those were some of the prototypes that Microsoft 
has also tried before designing into the new layout. Now, let me know in the comments if you like the new design or if you prefer one of the concepts that the company tried before deciding for the menu that we're seeing today. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.